All right, Nick, in this last video, we're going to talk about one more area in which you can get a little bit better, and, all, and it all has to do with your lower half and how you use your legs to create drive and how you use your legs against the ground to create power and leverage. All right? And so we're going to begin here with Miguel Cabrera on the left-hand side and you on the right-hand side. All right, and we talked about before how all good, neg all good hitters want to use a negative move. Well, if you look right now, Miguel Cabrera is in a stance position, and you can see that his knees are inside of his feet. All right, you can see the same thing here with you, your knees inside your foot. Now, when Miguel Cabrera begins his negative move, I want you to notice how he keeps his knee inside of his foot right there. You'll notice that all of his drive comes on the inside of his back leg, and that knee does not go backwards. Instead, he stores all that weight against his back leg, and he's using the ground to drive into it, all right? This is important for your weight shift later on in your swing, and it's important for your hands because if we're able to shift our weight correctly, then it's a whole lot easier to pull our hands to the zone. So again, at the stance, the knee stays inside the back foot, during the negative move, the knee stays inside the back foot and the weight is against the back leg on the inside here. Now, if you look at you on the right-hand side, when you begin your negative move right here, you can see that your knee goes outside of your back foot. Take a look right here how it's drifted back. And as a result, you're not going to get as good a leg drive or weight shift and you're not really using the ground to your advantage. Look at the difference here between you and Miguel Cabrera at the negative move. Now, as Miguel Cabrera continues into his positive move, he's going to continue using the ground to his favor. He's going to drive off the inside of this back leg and into the ground. As you can see here, driving off the inside of his back foot, and now he's landed and he's in his launch position. And look now how his knee stays inside of his foot and he's really driving and pushing off the inside of his back leg. Now as we take you forward into your stride, you can see there's not as much drive off the inside of your back leg. And now you might be saying, well, coach, so what? You know, that's not a big deal. Well, it is at this point in the swing. You're going to see that Miguel Cabrera is going to plant his heel. And as he plants his heel... He's continuing to shift that weight and drive the weight off his back leg into his front leg. And you can see there's a really good knee pinch here, okay? That weight's shifting in. Now, if we take you to your heel plant, you can see there's less of a shift with his back knee, less of a drive. And as a result, because you drive, you don't drive as effectively with your backside, it's going to be more difficult for you to pull with your top half as you can see here. And when you hit this outside pitch, it's with this not, not as much force as it needs to be. Let me give you another example. We'll pull up Chase Utley. Get him into his stance. Get you into your stance. And we'll pull up another pitch that you hit on the outside half. right here. Again, at our stance, we're going to start with our knee inside of our back foot, which you do right here. In our negative move, we're going to continue to keep that knee inside of our back foot. You can see there, Chase Hutley did his negative move, and the weight is against his back leg. It's on the inside of his back leg, all right? Notice how he keeps his knee inside of his back foot. Now, when you do your negative move, watch it drift. See right there how your back knee moved backwards over your foot? Well, now your weight's on the outside of your back leg, and you're not going to get as much leg drive. And watch the difference here in the stride. As Chase Utley drives off the back leg and gets into landing, you see that knee stays inside of his back foot, and all he's doing is really pushing off the ground here and using the ground to his advantage. When you take your stride, you're going to see a little bit less of a leg drive here. 
See where Chase Utley's knee is in comparison to where it was in his negative move? And look where yours is at. And as a result, when you guys plant your heel, as you can see right here, there's a big difference in the back side. Look at how his back knee pinches in towards his front knee. And look at the difference in yours. And so when Chase Utley goes to hit this low pitch that's on the outer half, he's able to square it up. When you go to hit this pitch that's on the outer half, you fouled off. And so using those legs to your advantage against the ground is going to be a huge piece to you creating more power and consistency as a hitter. 